Wait upon the Lord. Welcome, my dear friend, to the Glory Realm, a time that we spend with God. And it's brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you closer to God. We aim to go to the house of the living God. We know when we go to the house of the living God, we will never come back the same. My dear friend, I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is another day that God has given us. It is a brand new day. It is an amazing day. And today I'm going to be praying for you, special miraculous prayers for the grace of God to strengthen you. My dear friend, it is day three of the three days of miracle signs and wonders. And already God has done amazing things and he continues to do them. Today, connect in faith, my dear friend, even as we pray and God will touch and change your life forever. Furthermore, my dear friend, we're also going to pray in agreement together for all the prayer requests that have come in. Let us touch and agree that God will do something mighty in all the requests that have been sent in on the daily prayer list. My dear friends, I want to start by taking a reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10, the NIV. It says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The first thing that I want to share with you, my dear friend, is that God is with us. God is with you. He is not a God who is somewhere else far away from you. He is with you. Through all the situations that you've gone through, God has been with you. The very fact that you're still alive after going through all those trials, after taking that hard beating, after being through so many challenges, it's proof that God is with you. It's by the grace of God. Another thing that I want to share with you, my dear friend, is the scripture shows us clearly that He is the one who strengthens us. Our strength comes from God. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31, the NIV, it says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. My dear friend, when you put your hope in the Lord, when you say, I will trust God, this situation looks difficult, but I will trust God. When you do that, something miraculous happens. Strength begins to rise up within you. You begin to feel strong. Suddenly you can walk again. Suddenly you can run again. Suddenly there's the desire to keep on going. Maybe you were feeling like giving up, but when you put your trust in God, the desire to keep going on begins to build up inside of you. Strength, supernatural strength that comes from God fills up your inner being and you can just push on. The Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 73 verse 26, the NIV version, it says, my flesh and my heart may fail, but my God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. My dear friend, today, even right now, you might be feeling weak. You might be feeling like giving up, but I'm here to tell you, as a man of God, I am here with a message from God. And God is saying, do not give up. Do not get discouraged. I will be your strength. You might feel weak in your body, but God is your strength. You might feel like giving up, but Jesus is your strength. In whatever you do, know that God is with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. God is your strength. He will strengthen your heart and you will keep on going. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, the NIV version, it says, This is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardship, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Remember what I read in the book of Psalm chapter 73, verse 26, my dear friend. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. When we are weak, my dear friend, in our bodies, in our physical bodies, when we are weak, God is strong. Because sometimes, my dear friend, our own strength gets in the way of a stronger strength that is with us. We try to make it in our own strength. We try to go on by our own strength. But my dear friend, I'm here to tell you, don't. My, my dear brother, my dear sister, don't go in your own strength, but go in the strength of God. God will strengthen you. He will be your strength. When you are weak, He is strong. Learn to rest in Him. Learn to rely on Him. Learn to put your trust in Him. And you will never get discouraged. As you trust in God, God will come through for you, my dear friend. And in saying that, let's go into a time of prayer, my dear friend. I feel the presence. I feel the power of God. And I just want to pray. I want to pray. I know that God is going to do something. Today is Friday. On Friday, we usually pray Friday financial prayers. But today we're doing it a bit differently. We're still going to pray about finances. But I also want to pray as God has led me so that you will have strength in your body. 
let us go into a time of prayer take your cell phone take your device go somewhere private where you can just pray we can seek God and even as you go there begin to lift up praises to him father you are my Lord you are my God you are the God in whom we trust Lord thank you for another day we just start by thanking you and praising you for another day you are such a good God you are such a wonderful God you are an amazing God you've given us another day and we give you praise for it Lord we give you all the honor we give you all the glory be glorified in our life today be glorified in my life be glorified in my dear friend's life who's watching this video and do what only you can do dear God Lord do what only you can do in the life of my dear friend Lord today my dear friend your child whom you love has put their trust in you my dear brother my dear sister wherever they're watching we know distance is not a barrier they have put their trust in you Lord I pray strengthen your child and be with your child and help your child to get through every trial that your child might be facing I ask this in the name of Jesus and I thank you for it Lord precious Holy Spirit of God come Lord Holy Spirit you are here I welcome you come and take over control and come and touch my dear friend watching this video touch my dear friend for the glory of King Jesus I ask this in Jesus name and I thank you for it Lord my dear friend just lift up your hands to the Lord wherever you are lift up your hands to the Lord if you're holding your device in one hand lift up the hand that's free to the Lord say Holy Spirit I surrender to you come and take over control Lord Holy Spirit come and take over control come and do what only you can do come and glorify King Jesus in my life do this for the glory of King Jesus amen my dear friend we're gonna go into a time of prayer but even as we go there I want to ask you to do three things as usual number one comment in the comment section and agree with me there's power in agreement number two if you've got a private prayer request and you want me to pray with you if you want me to trust God with you go to my website and click on daily prayer list fill in your prayer request and send it through it'll come through to me and I'm gonna trust God with you number three if you've got a testimony and you want to encourage and build up someone else's faith feel free to send it on my website www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on testimony or testify and God will bless you mightily even as you fill that in we'll review it and we'll post it up now my dear friend I've got all the prayer requests in front of me right here on my device the prayer requests that have come in from the daily prayer list I want us to start by praying for all the prayer requests that God will meet each and every person at the point of need and I want you to agree with me wherever you are around the world agree with me that God will do miracles signs and wonders even as it is the third day of three days of miracles signs and wonders father in the name of Jesus and I'm in agreement with my dear friend my dear friend is in agreement with me I ask you Lord God answer and meet each and every one of these prayer requests at their point of need each and every one of these that have come in through the daily prayer list you know the needs of your children already Lord meet each and every one of them at their point of need I pray this and ask this in the name of Jesus and I thank you Lord for miracles signs and wonders all around the world I thank you for supernatural happenings things that people will look and say this can only be God this can only be God I pray this and I thank you for it in the name of Jesus amen now father I pray for your child who's watching this video Lord I pray that you will be with your child in line with your scripture at all times and let your child know that you are always with your child wherever your child might go let your child know that you are with your child let your dear son your dear daughter know that wherever they might go whatever they might go through you are with them and Lord I pray that you will strengthen your child wherever your child is across the world let your child receive a miracle a miracle of divine strengthening in their body I pray this in the name of Jesus and I thank you for it Lord Lord give your dear child the grace to be refreshed and for their strength to be renewed even as they put their trust in you I pray this in the name of Jesus and I thank you for it Lord for you are good and your mercy endures forever Lord in the times when your dear child who's watching this video feels weak feels like giving up feels like it's the end Lord in those times be the strength of your child and Lord pull your child out of those hard times and help your child to keep going I ask this in the name of Jesus Lord and when your child is weak Lord be their strength when they are weak when your dear son when your dear daughter who's watching this video is weak be your dear child's strength I ask this in the name of Jesus and our father I pray for finances 
I pray for the financial situation of your child, wherever your child might be across the world. Lord, distance is not a barrier. Lord, as I stretch my hand to this camera, let your child receive a financial miracle. Let your child receive a financial breakthrough. Lord, let your child receive the grace for wealth, Lord, the grace for abundance. Lord, I pray, let your child receive a divine breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, if your child is unemployed, let your child get a job. If your child is trying to run a business or trying to start a business, let your child receive the grace to start a business and to be successful. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, if your child is already employed and they're trusting you for a better job because the salary that they're getting is not enough, let your child receive jobs and better jobs. Let your child receive divine promotion. I pray this in the name of Jesus and I thank you for it, Lord. Now, Father, I pray for each and every one who has sowed into this ministry. I pray for each and every one who has partnered with this ministry. Lord, I pray that you will bless them mightily. Give them divine breakthrough, divine financial breakthrough, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, let them have such a breakthrough. Let them have so much supply. For your word says, give and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaken together and running over. Your dear child is given into this work the work of the gospel and all that money is going towards the work of the gospel lord as your child has sowed into good soil let the seed that they've sowed be multiplied a thousand times fold back onto them lord i pray this in the name of jesus lord may they never run out may they never run dry may they never run out of anything lord may they always have enough and even more and even overflow i pray this in the name of jesus and i thank you for it lord my dear friend, your giving, your donations help us to actually keep on going. And I want to thank you. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who's sowed into this ministry, who's partnered with this ministry, who's shared the videos. All those things do not go unnoticed. God has seen and God will bless you miraculously. In saying that we come to the end of this video, I want you to know that God is with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And He is going to bless you forever. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.